Stone Arches Stone Arches have a long and illustrious history, punctuated by some of the great world attractions such as the aqueducts of Rome and Spain. Historically, stone arches were valuable for a number of reasons. They're found in ruins dating back as far as 200 AD, and the fact that they still stand offers their greatest value. Stone arches resist gravity and are strong enough to bear great weight without crumbling and without need of other supportive reinforcement. Gothic architects discovered that they could build higher arches to span larger spaces by making the arch more pointed. Many Gothic cathedrals are lovely testaments to this theory. Stone arches are most useful for giving structural support when spanning open spaces, so they were often used as gateways to large cities protected by high walls. In the case of the Roman aqueducts, stone arches made it possible to support the weight of water while efficiently routing the water as much as 29 miles above ground across the city. This method kept the water essentially germ-free. One of the longest bridges of this architectural era, Trajan's Bridge, crossed the Danube and was the longest arched bridge made of wood and stone built for a thousand years. The functionality of stone arches equally corresponds to their beauty. One famous Parisian arch doesn't hold up walls, direct the flow of water, or support anything but itself, but it acts as a symbol of all that is beautiful in Paris, and acts as a gateway to the center of the city. Stone arches can similarly increase the aesthetic beauty of a garden or backyard, while improving use of space and function. One great way to integrate a stone arch into a garden is to build an arched bridge across a waterway. Another possibility is to create an arched entry to a short-walled garden to increase a sense of limit and seclusion. The most amazing thing about an arch is the pressure that it exerts upon itself to maintain its shape and structure. While there are a variety of types of stone arches and many ways to build them, possibly one of the most beautiful designs is the simple dry stone arch built with flagstone. After a wooden mold cut into the shape of the arch is placed, flagstone can be built up from a low wall toward the center. When the mold is pushed away, the dry stone arch stands freely without mortar. Most people don't believe it until they try it, but it's truly a modern marvel to create, and a lot of fun too. For more on creative ways to build with stone, visit slipformstone.com.